Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Barcelona and Mallorca. And Barcelona has won against Mallorca 2-1 with a goal coming from Memphis Depay and a goal coming from Sergio Busquets. It was a very nerve-wracking game, I'm going to be very honest. But Barcelona have managed to pull through. They have managed to put out character on the field and come out on top with a total of 3 points and secure the second place spot for now. So what we are going to be doing in this video is talk about the first half, the second half, and then give my overall review of of this whole game if you guys are new here welcome to this channel but before we go into any of this i do want to speak about the one football app the greatest football app that you could ever find within the app store if you do want to download the one football app you can so by scanning the qr code that you do see here if you guys do want to find out the latest news regarding your favorite player your favorite team if you want to look at what the league is currently looking like when it comes to la liga the premier league the bundesliga the french league all of that information is going to be compact within the one football app again if you want to download this app you guys can so by even clicking on the link that will be provided on the description box or on the pinned comment. It is a great football app. You guys will not be disappointed, but now let's get back into the video. So going into this first half, we saw a very active Barcelona, a Barcelona that was very mobile. I'm happy to see that Barcelona have received a one week gap when it comes to matches played because you can just really tell that it did help the team. And Mallorca did see a couple of chances through the match, but we were very lucky to not concede within the first half because that would have really changed Barcelona's game going into the second half. And so we saw a Mallorca side that brought very little to the match on the field. But Barcelona reacted. They knew that they needed to score and they pressed aggressively every time Mallorca received the ball. We gained possession on the defensive third, which was in our own half, and we attacked aggressively. We attacked in the open spaces. And that is what's going to lead me towards revolving around two different players. And that is going to be Frankie de Jong and Memphis Depay. And I'm going to be starting with Frankie de Jong because let me tell you guys, the way that Frankie has performed against this Mallorca side, you can just tell that yes, Xavi has talked with this player they have had a conversation about how can we evolve your game and Frankie has really really did change his game against Mallorca if you were to compare it to how Frankie did play against Rayo Vallecano and let's talk about that right because remember Xavi did say yesterday that yes he had a face-to-face -face conversation with Frankie he wanted to give him more football ideas more football advice and that is exactly what we saw Frankie do on the pitch tonight he looked much more alive way more involved in the attack he was always so close to the ball wherever the ball was at he was right next to it and every time Barcelona wanted to attack after they gained possession. Barcelona immediately went on the counter, attacked those open spaces, and that was because of Frankie de Jong. There was like about two or three times where Frankie did receive the ball. He went through like two or three players and then passed it towards either Aubameyang or Memphis Depay. And let me tell you, these type of moves, these sequences that we do see coming from Frankie, that is like one of the best things that Frankie has to offer within his game. We literally saw the Frankie of Ajax in 2019 in tonight's match, and it was amazing to watch. I'm so happy to see that even Frankie has shown that he was much more responsible with the ball. And so this is some huge positive news for Barcelona as a whole when it comes to Xavi Hernandez because this just shows you that we have a coach that knows how to talk to these players. He knows how to bring a lot to the table and really help these players improve their game. He understands the players. He knows how to evolve these players. He knows how to improve certain sequences within a certain player. And I love that. Not many coaches can do that and evolve a player's game. And so within a span of eight days, we saw two different versions of Frankie. We saw a Frankie against Raya Vallecano that looked dead that did not look like he was involved and then in tonight's match Frankie was a monster we saw a very aggressive version of Frankie which led towards a very aggressive Barcelona every time they went on to go attack and then when it comes to Memphis Depay it's very clear on the change that did happen with Memphis because Memphis did play as a left winger today and because he was not a number nine because he was a left winger he was much more energetic he was much more hyperactive he was much more smart within his movements from the left to the right and that is one of the reasons on why Barcelona were able to find that goal in the first half it was because we saw Memphis do a brilliant move and lost the fullback. He attacked the open space. He receives the long ball coming from Jordi Alba and Memphis Depay shoots the ball into the bottom left corner. It was a wonderful goal, the type of goal that you know Memphis can score and you just love to see it, right? You love to see and you love to see these players being placed in the best possible position for them to flourish on the field. Memphis looks so comfortable on that side and I only want to continue to see Memphis play as a left winger and never ever as a striker. And then there was another moment within the first half where we did see Eric Garcia come into the game. Gerard Piquet had to leave very early and that was because Piquet was not doing well in that defensive line. He did look injured and this really does show us that Gerard Piquet is just not the same anymore. Like yes, can he provide that great defensive level? He can, but he cannot do this day in, day out no more. He is aging. He cannot compete at the highest level. Like every three to four days, we have to take a very good care of him. And so I do think that this is a time for us to realize that yes, we need to strengthen our defensive line and Eric Garcia, a center back that's supposed to replicate what Gerard Piquet has been bringing out to Barcelona in the past 10 
seven years, he does need to step up and hopefully he can deliver that. And so let's go into the second half and let's talk about it, right? Because we saw the exact same great game coming from Barcelona. Nothing did really change. Barcelona had the exact same tempo. Mallorca never saw an opportunity in those first 20 minutes of the second half. We knew that we needed a goal because we wanted to be in that safe spot. And so we saw Sergio Busquets get a goal on the 54th minute. One of the best central defensive midfielders in the world has yet again scored another goal. And it was a very similar goal to how he did score against Frankfurt. So we saw Busquets make a very clean move between two players. He sweeped those two players from Mallorca. He takes a shot with his left foot and he scores the goal. It was a wonderful, wonderful goal. And because of this goal, it does say here, according to Cat Radio, that Busquets has now scored a total of 18 goals for Barcelona, nine of which with his left leg, six with his right, and another three with his head. And so that is full Xavi effect. That is what you get when you have a coach that says, be more daring, take more shots, take control of the match. And that is what we have been seeing from Busquets. It was a great game overall from Busquets when it comes to blocking those passing lanes, taking shots, always being there for his players. It was amazing. But then there was a few annoying and furious moments in the second half. Like for example, like Ferran Torres, there were so many moments where he had a great chance to score a goal, but he did not end up delivering. Like, yes, did he have a couple of dribbles that amazed us? Yes, he did. But there were like two big chances that he did receive in the very last 10 minutes of him playing on this game against Mallorca. And especially in that last chance, that one really did stood out because he was literally one foot away from the goal line and he could have easily just tapped the ball in but he missed like yes he did receive a rebound he scored but that was considered as like an offside goal but the fact that Ferran Torres yet again continues to waste these chances I was just so so frustrated I was so so annoyed because we spend a lot of money on this player we know what he can do we have seen him do well with the Spanish national team I have no idea why he feels so unconfident at Barcelona why he feels like he has low self-belief within himself because these are the type of goals that anybody could literally score and so that was the last chance that Ferran Torres did have and then we saw the substitutions of Ansu Fati and Dembele let me tell you guys when Ansu Fati stepped foot on that field I was so happy it brought a big smile to my face Aubameyang and Ferran Torres were the ones that had to get out on the 75th minute and so that front three was Memphis, Ansu and Dembele a front three that really did interest a lot of people we thought that they were going to be able to score but we did not see that in the last 10 to 15 minutes of the game Barcelona maintained a very great level through that second half Again, I was extremely, extremely happy to see Ansu Fati back on the pitch. He did not really do much. Mallorca did score, but it did not affect Barcelona mentally. And so because Barcelona were able to come out with a 2-1 win against Mallorca, Barcelona is now in second place. We currently do have 66 points. Yes, Real Madrid have won La Liga, but Barcelona are within the top four. And that is exactly what we need. And that is all we need. We are two points above Sevilla and five points above Atletico Madrid. Let's continue to gain this momentum. Let's finish strong. Let's end in second place. And like I've said before, and I'm going and I'm going to continue to say this like I did in the past five to six months if Barcelona end up in second place this season this will be considered as a successful season under Xavi Hernandez but that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona post match review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video